Hello guys, welcome to this video. That's my first video in English and I'm happy to present you the brand new Pande PD6 player. Um, so you will see in this video what will you get for your money, for your bucks, what's inside the player, what, what are the specification, um, which duck is inside. Um, how good is the firmware and how massive solid is this beast? This 16 kilo beast is built. I think it's the heaviest UHD player on the market. In the Blu-ray time, Blu-ray players, there are some products from Macintosh or something other, some other manufacturer which are also very built but this player is the heaviest product on the market the oppo udp 205 and the pioneer universal player the lx is not so heavy like this one and um, after some information about the technique what the player could play which formats it is uh, they are supported we will open the case and you have a look inside and you will get some information um, which firmware is on the player because um, it's a dual boot system and it works with the oppo firmware and the pioneer firmware but perhaps it is possible in the near future that the player will get only one firm firmware. Um, in Europe, the distributor is at the moment Cine Ultra, um, but that could also change in the near future. Um, so let us start with the box what you will get for your money a little bit front one moment i'll be back Hello guys, welcome to this video. Um, that's my first video in English and I'm proud to present you the brand new Panda PD6 Universal Disc Player, 4K Disc Player. And you will see in this video what will you get for your box, what's inside the box, some technical specification about the player I will explain you and we have a closer look to the to the player how solid is it built and what's inside and it's a really massive player it's a heavyweight champion of the uhd player because it has 16 kilogram the pioneer lx 800 and the udp 205 from Oppo are not so heavy like this one. They're around 9 and 11 or 12 kilogram. So 16 kilo, that's a heavyweight champion. It's an universal player. So what I mean with this, um, it plays not only video discs like DVD, Blu-ray or Ultra Blu-ray. It also plays 
TDs like all the other players, but this player also has the capital the specification or it's possible to play with this player the high resolution part from SACDs and DVD audio. And at the moment there are not so much player on the market which could that do. So this is one nice piece of gear for your home theater or also stereo system. You will see later why it is so. Then first, what will you get for your money? What's in the box? Zoom out. Fine. So first, because I use it in my home theater at the moment, my home theater in the basement is not finished. And this is the remote. It has no moving sensor, but a backlight function. If you push one button, look here. Our buttons are lighting it. A lighting, a lighting, sorry about that. And all the main features are on the remote. Display function, HDR, subtitle, audio, title menu, pop-up menu, options, return, play, the colored button, red, green, yellow, blue, Everything works fine with this player. What will you get also? First, the box has no information what in, what's inside. Then, the sec second box. Mm, it's um, like the most manufacturer today, which sell high quality products for not so cheap price. And here on the box, the information Ultra HD Blu ray, HDR Dolby Vision. For HDR, I have to say it's HDR. 10 plus compatible and later if you get some information about the firmware you will see oh, that's not so new um, and you will know something about the firmware when you are looking on older universal player Cine Ultra is a trademark who supported in Europe, uh, which imported to Europe. Pande is the manufacturer. Nothing special, only a cover here, cover paper. And here you can direct, see directly some specs. Like I said, one minute ago, HDR10 plus Dolby Vision. It has balance XLR outputs, the ESS DAC 9038 Pro, like the Oppo UDP, and it's a dual boot system. Later, you will get more information about this. Okay, one box here, nothing inside because there was a remote inside, a complete lock into the box. One massive 
one massive HDMI cable with real massive plugs. I don't need it because I have some cable installed and it's a flat cable. Next box, the power cord. Nothing special, no oil aid, but it works with no problems. No super cable or something audiophile special. The manual. Unfortunately, only in Chinese language. But if you know Oppo UDP player or Pioneer UDP player, I think you will have no problem with the firmware. So that was a top. And now, like some other players from Oppo or iPoc, Cine Ultra, Cambridge Audio, there's a bag where the player is at the deliver delivery inside. And the difference between all the others manufacturers, this, this is a real massive bag, a cotton bag, not such a synthetic bag. It's really strong and I think I will go shopping, make a shopping deal trip the next time with this bag. So look at here, now it's empty but it's really strong material and if the sand is on the way to you shipped, I think it's really safe in this box. Let's have a closer look to the player from the to the outside. It's really massive. The front plate. So, what is here? Just a power switch on the left side. Real big display plate and the disc for the loader, disc drive, and one with B port, open close, and skip, pause, play, and stop. All the buttons feels very high quality, metal-like, and I think it's pure metal not as a uh, aluminium i think it's not like the most modern product with plastic buttons which have the alum aluminium part on it then look at here the massive face plate it's around one centimeter it's really 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 good build and have a good feeling if you touch it it's not like a small weight player it's really really heavy also if you look here on the top some information to the player somebody will, somebody will say or oh, that's not nice but you have to live with it. It's, it is there and if it's in your home theater you will see it not more so much so that's not thin that's a really heavy part of the player case also on this side and what's on the back Let's have a look here. Network port, HDMI out. 
one, the main port, and HDM out two, sub out only audio only. That means you will get a 700p picture and the complete audio with no conversion, the pure audio stream if you want. USB 3.0 port, RS 232C port, other digital connections, Tarslink and Coaxial, and now here the XLR and RCA ports. Um, it's all very massive build. You see all the screws here. Every port is strictly connected to the massive backplate. And also here and here. Yeah, you will get more massive RCR socket connections. But when I go on the ports and will move it, there's no, no moving possible it's really really good build massive build and on the right side just the main power switch and the power cord connection then what on the ah uh, you could not see it but they are so massive feet under the player, massive aluminium feet, not plastic or something else. It's really good built with some rubber dumper that it's not so easy to move it. It will stand really fat on your rack. Hello guys, unfortunately I could not present you the player in, inside what built inside because it will not open, I could not open the top of the player because there are some screws and I have to damage this stripe. Under this stripe are some screws. So I will you give you a link in the description to a tear down of the player and unfortunately it's only in Chinese but you will have a good look how massive the player is built and you could then see some special building features about the drive, the laser disc, how good the suspension is but I will you tell you also something about the player but for now First, the information what setup I will use at the moment. That's just my simple tone winner 8300. And at the uh, here in the rack, that are tone um, that are audiophonics and core amplifier with the Hypex NC400 modules. My speaker are do-it-yourself speaker Achenbach Sun BMK2 with a really big tweeter and I will give you also in the description a link to this product. And here it is, the player in action. And you will see how big is it against the tone winner, my first, my newer AV processor, the RMC1 from Emotiva, has to go to the service. Just a moment. So this player here has a really fast lay, um, disc 
drive disk drive like the Oppo UDP or the PlayStation 3 the Sony laser and loader 481 or 480 um, there are some differences only in the size and the mounting possibilities but the reading speed is all the time the same I could compare it with some other players who has um, a 480 and a 481 laser there's no difference in the reading speed and all the lasers um, working so fast so that's a screen saver and now just have a look into the firmware and you will see that is not completely new yep it's in German language nice background pictures and if you see one more time an Oppo UDP you will recognize the symbols and pictograms and now I will go into the setup nothing special here but this is an important situation um, it is the Oppo firmware in the last version and the Russian jailbreak so you could play everything I tell you that oh, in the easiest form MKV, MKA some other supported media files with this player and it's not important also with the disc which region code some Blu-rays has this player is multi-region you have to change the region via the menu and um, so you have to look on the internet how it worked with Oppo player after jailbreaking so here it worked the same way so some points you have to pay attention if you go into the audio menu this player could use also as a pre amplifier because you can connect it directly from the analog outputs XLR or RCA to your amplifier because the volume is variable now you can change the volume um, let's have a look here I check it out and it works fine also the different filter you can choose it looking here the completely like the Oppo version like the Oppo firmware and here is a speaker setup so that is now important um, because it has only two channel output yeah so you have to config this like this one I have no subwoofer looking here it's off so all the multi-channel sound will down mix to stereo and you could enjoy it over the two channel output um, it is possible when you config here a multi-channel system that you will not hear everything out of the box that's what thing you have to pay attention next point is in the setup for the player if you go here to this point infrared sensor you could choose here front and back the problem is this player has no ER sensor on the back side if you change here you have to completely reboot the player and will need the small script from the support then you get, could put the script on the USB stick put it inside start the player and then he will completely reboot the player with a factory reset and you have to could 
and it's possible that you then work with your rear remote. So, and that you and that you will see now that it works with the different media types like DVD audio that's Missy Elliott so addictive the DVD audio let's have a look You will see here PCM, 5 channel and LFE. I will go into the display information. That's a small information from the Oppo firmware. You can look here, DVD audio, the frame format, some chapter and what the sound format is. Long press. Huh? Long press on the information on the display button. You see what much more information, the resolution, the HDR format, format here. Bitrate, audio format, speaker, kilohertz, bit format, and which speaker are integrated and the audio bit rate video bit rate zero that is nothing here just a simple picture in the background so the next disc is the eagles or from the eagles hotel california it's an SACD. Looking here, SACD PCM. It's also possible to send the DSD directly to your amplifier or processor, but it has to support, to, to, <coughs> to support it. Also stereo, if you put push the audio button, you will see you could also change like with an Oppo player, the sound format to 5.1 or one more again, stereo, that means you could change also directly back to the SACD layer or in the setup also to the high resolution layer. Now, if I push here also the display, the information button, you see this information about the uh, disk, what's inside, and the disk information, Hotel California, what the title, what's the album, which format, some information about the sound, which file is it. And now I will show you how it works with the other firmware. So first I have to close the player and shut down. Shut down. So now I have to push, click the relay, long push on the power button. Ta -da. A new display, a new background. Here you will see the Pande firmware logo and some icons. It's 
the setup here that is from Pioneer and I will now go around the corner to get my USB thumb I will put it inside for later and so I could just show how it worked with media files from a stick so in this setup you have also the function like the Pioneer Universal 4K player and one point it's here better because the hmm, I don't know what is here it is just a two-player product the official pioneer player and um, I have to re-put the disc into the player to show you the difference on the display. We'll go out, just play. SACD and now you could look here the display has small pictograms, small symbols, what is going on. And how much time is over. And if I push the display, you will see button like here, you will see the remaining time of the track also in the TV or on the TV how long the disk is running and the remaining time of the disk. Display off, display on and here the information about the disk. Sorry for about that. I have to make it a little bit more comfortable. So, if you want to change the firmware again, just push the power button. Click for the relay for the analog audio section and now just a fast click. Hello. No, not play directly. Okay, just the oppo screen. You know it. So let's have a look. I will go to the movie section and I go to my USB thumb. I have called it already oppo stick. Demo. M2TS MKV MP4 uh, needs some time. <laughs> okay, stop. The moment the problem with the handshake is my AT300. It needs some time. M2TS. And now I will show you some nice not the same like Oppo or Pioneer but it's a smooth system here and if you look that 
Yes, it seems so like it is that is an that it is an PC drive, but here the front part is also built out of uh, aluminium and makes a really good feeling and you will see here which player is inside the 481 AAA laser and loader so what could I tell you also about the player I have not only this player So what I could also tell you about the player, that's not the single player in my home. I've also an iPUC 8592 Pro with a dual femto clock and I had the Cine Ultra V204 and around two years ago I had the Cambridge Audio CX UHD and if I compare all the three players this player is a massive built player it's so heavy and so smooth while playing some discs because the complete mechanic drive has two suspension systems the first is that the disc loader has, um, has the, with this fixing point built into rubber plugs so if the if the disc is spinning and there are some vibration this rubber plugs will reduce it and the complete drive is also built in in the player with spring suspension that reduce one more time some vibration which could be caused by bad factored disc and so it is really really silent this player um, but if you play some UHD discs the spinning drive is so high that you will some some air moving in the player but I think on, and I know that my CX UHD has also the problem, but that is really a silent system. And between the player and my main listen position, they're around three meters. So I will check it with the UHD disc, with Blu-rays, DVDs, SATD, DVD audios. I will not hear anything from the player. Also, it is really, really fast. And in the uh, teardown video from China, you will see that the player is really fast in booting and in loading some discs. So, unfortunately, you could not see inside the player, but I know it's a really good construction, like a three chamber case it's a double case you have the outer case and the inner case in the bottom area the top area is the heavy top plate which is not possible to remove it without damaging the stripe so i have you could uh, you have enjoyed this video and perhaps i make one more time an english video so stay healthy and bye bye.